welcome back! For those of you that are new here, my name is Kristen Lankford. I am a teacher and I teach a VPK pre-K classroom that is blended. And I know, I know I have been uh, not doing a lot of videos or even family videos. We've been taking a, a little bit of a break. We have those cute little puppies at home and they are a lot of work. But today, I am back at school because I am going to be finally packing up my classroom even though in like two weeks, we'll be back here to put it all back together. Like I said, I'm here to pack up my classroom. I did work summer VPK at my school in this classroom. That's why I wasn't able to pack up my classroom at the end of the year like everyone else because we still use the room. After all summer of the kiddos being in here, now it is time. I stopped working on Thursday and today is Monday. It is time to finally pack up the rest of this stuff so that the custodians can come in, move all the furniture, wax the floors, clean it up, and then move all the furniture back in. Uh, we have no AC, so I'm very thankful that summer school is over because I can't imagine being in here with all those kids and no air. So I'm only trying to be here for a little while to wrap this up because I'm not trying to die of heat exhaustion in Florida. But I'll show you some of the things that the teachers that worked the afternoon shift already did, and then some of my plans. All right, so this is what the room looks like so far. Nice little scan around. Do do do. I mean, I still get to keep a lot of my decorations up, so that is really good. I took down most of this wall because, like I said in the other video, I moved my rug. It was against this wall, and now I put it in front of the whiteboard. So there's still a couple pieces of furniture that I'm not sure if we'll keep yet during pre-planning, we will revisit that, but this is how it was over summer. Anything that is not on wheels has to be emptied at our school because obviously it's super heavy. So this held all of like the table toys and even these buckets and like those are pretty light, but I might have to find a different place for those. This shelf is not on wheels, but as you can see those, the gap underneath, they are on wheels. So I'm able to move stuff from those shelves onto there and then like this obviously is the cubby, so there's nothing in there anyways. Like that is just a piece of furniture, so they're gonna move that separate anyways. Um, let's see, this is where those afternoon lovely teachers put some of those buckets, because they're not gonna move the stove, and then obviously we're allowed to fill up the counter, and then when I come back and take it all away, we'll just clean the counters ourselves. I have to put all this technology away, all the stuff, like all these computers have to be put away, and the stuff underneath can probably stay as long as it's pretty secure because it's on wheels. But everything that's on here needs to find a different place. This is on wheels, so it's okay. Wheels, wheels, um, chairs can be stacked, tables can be the way they are. I need to rip down that stuff that was from summer school. It's a different version of a uh, visual schedule than I had with Velcro. Literally just taped and we put a magnet on top to move it through. I'm telling you, if you do anything different in a preschool class, Visual schedule. It is so helpful because they always want to know what's next. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can show you. These were our circles. I love that the afternoon teachers got some of them off. They are harder than it looks, so I'm going to try and get the rest of them off and then maybe rethink my idea because that is a big pain. All right, and then the closet. The light's not even on. Hopefully we don't have any bugs coming out of here. <laughs> so I can put stuff on the washer and dryer. Not ideal, because I do think that the custodians use the washer and dryer over the summer to like wash the mop heads and stuff, maybe. I'm not sure that it is what it is. I only have so much space. I can put stuff on here. They do not wax this area every year, but eventually they're gonna want to, and that year will not be fun. Over pre-planning, I have way more organizing to do. I just have so much stuff and so many bins, but not like the right type of bins. I need bins, like those big bins up there so I can organize stuff. This is turned sideways for now because we had a VPK rolly cart in here. But my plan, I got a really cheap bookcase that I'm gonna put here. It's pretty tall, so it can't really go against this. So I'm gonna have an empty space here that I'm not sure about. And then I need to find a place for this to go. And we have all this water. And then this, I think I showed you last time we moved. This was over by the bathrooms. Now it's in here, which is so much better because the kids don't even, like this has nothing to do with the kids. It's all of our supplies. So it's good to be in the closet. 
These are left over from Summer VPK. They're from Lakeshore. They're just like little balls, so I love that. This is just a bunch of <laughs> supplies that's left over. And this is a lovely goodie bag that I got from one of the parents that is going to be in my class, or one of the parents of a student that's going to be in my class next year. Haven't even gone through it, but do that later. All right, let's get started.
Oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> I don't know whose idea this was, but you know, you gotta get it done because I'm pretty sure they're gonna start waxing like tomorrow. So I only had limited time. But good news is I'm done. It's not perfect. This classroom is definitely dirty. I'm glad that they will be cleaning it. And then when we come back in pre-planning, we'll be wiping everything down. Like the when I did the kitchen, I was like, this stuff is not good. Definitely needs to be cleaned. Like the baby doll clothes and all the all the things. But anyways, I'm done with inside. I'm probably gonna go home since there's air at home. Wait for my husband. When he gets back from soccer practice, we are actually going to bring the puppies up and do some landscaping on the playground. I'm not gonna record that part because it's not very exciting. But in other news of, let me get comfortable, hold on. So much better. I'm sitting uh, crisscross applesauce on a table because <laughs> I stacked all the chairs. Anyways, um, in other news, even though I haven't been recording this summer, I have been working on some products that a lot of you guys asked for during my first year that I just didn't have time to actually create myself. So I'll be adding some of those to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, which I'll link it down below. And I will let you know whenever some of the new products are on there. Uh, some of the things that I'm doing is like a recipe book. Last year, those recipe books were already made, so they just printed out the little ingredients on one side and they used a highlighter to write the words, and they worked perfect. And I kept a lot of the same recipes, but I did end up changing some of them as well. We ended up having a lot of cupcakes and a lot of um, items that were more like the teacher makes and the kids kind of watch, so I added a few more of the recipes where the kids are building, like a graham cracker and icing and you know, like M&Ms and they like build it because that makes it more kid friendly. I finalized my data folder that you guys were asking about. So I will post that and I'm gonna do the video about the data folder and give you guys all the information about that. Meet the teacher, so like last year, we had an online meet the teacher, so I just did a PowerPoint via Zoom. But this year, we're allowed to have parents come back in, so when I taught first grade, I had like stations, and they matched my classroom theme then, so now my classroom theme has changed, so I'm gonna make new stations and maybe do some type of scavenger hunt for the kids. Not too sure yet, but I'm brainstorming that product. I'm so hot. <laughs> I think that's everything. If you guys think of anything else that maybe you saw, I mean, I know I did the poetry notebook, but those poems I literally just found off Pinterest, printed them out. I might put them all together in one document this year as the year goes, but it's not something that's gonna be super fancy. It's just, it is what it already is, you know? Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry I'm all sweaty and looking gross, but you know how it is packing up a classroom. And I can't wait to come back and set it all up a little different than last year. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, like, subscribe. Once the school year starts, we'll be back to regular videos and I will start doing some other videos for the puppies soon. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.